Um, I'm just going to give you, like, if a fire alarm does go off, it is real. So if you can leave uh, the two exit doors and the actual meeting point is either outside of the Kingsgate building, the big glass building at the front of campus or behind the car park. But I'm sure that it'll be absolutely fine. So what are we going to do today within the session is just go through the accommodation choices um, about making the application and things to consider when you're applying for our accommodation. Then we'll give you a little bit of facts and figures. We've actually got a, a small slideshow that incorporates all of the accommodation that we currently offer. It has a little bit of an overview with costs. But don't worry that you don't have to keep making notes on everything because everything that's on here is also on our website. Then we have a, a why to choose Newcastle, both for the university and the accommodation choices. And then we have a guarantee, the people that meet the guarantee in regards to that's for the accommodation. And then what do you do next? So that's, I'll go through like the application, and then the offers, and then the arrival to freshers. And finally, at the end, any questions, you're welcome from, to ask them from where you're seated. And also, if you feel more comfortable, please come down to the front, and I'm happy to answer your questions for you. If you think of something a little later, we have got our stand, and it's in the boiler house, and we're open until 4 p.m. today. But also, at the end, it gives you some details on how you can contact us either by telephone, by email, or if you're local, just pop in and see us. So when you're going and looking at making your application of accommodation, we have some suggestions here for to consider for when you're doing your application. And it's a case of, if you're waiting for your student loan to pay your accommodation fees, some of the accommodation that we offer is a partnership. Now, what that means is in the partners, we don't own the accommodation, but you would be accommodated with Newcastle University first year students, but the contract with the owner. And it might mean that you need to pay in advance of your student loan. All of the university owned accommodation, the first payment date is the 1st of November. But then you've got a wide range that you're going to see in the slides that are going to come up next about what we offer, all the way from a self-catered wash basin room all the way up to a single person studio. So um, as I say, we've got the catered, the location. This year we've been very, very fortunate. All of our undergraduate accommodation has been on or close to campus. So, for example, if you live in Castle Leasers, which is one of the furthest away, it takes you about 15 minutes to get from Castle Leasers to the centre of campus, which we classify as the front doors to the student union. The student union will be a place that you'll find on your freshers' week and probably use a lot from there on in. So the wash types I've mentioned, we go like room with wash basin to a room with its own bathroom that's turned on sweet. But then there's different types of en-suites, all the way up to a superior en-suite with its own bath. The majority of our accommodation, it's with showers. And then to, a, as I say, a single person studio. On your application, you want to think, do I just want to live with my own gender? Or would I be happy sharing with both male and female students? And that's the choice that you make there. So the community side of things, the two of our largest accommodations that we offer um, is Casa Leasers, which is also our oldest site, and Parkview. When we say large, it's quite often it's, it can be very sociable, shall we say. And then we have smaller areas, such as Windsor Terrace, which is ideal if you're doing politics or law and you don't want to walk too far to your lectures because it's next door, to the likes of Maris House. But Maris House and all of the accommodations are within what we call student villages. So even if you're in a smaller accommodation, you're in a wider student village. So there's lots of activities that are for all. So here's the information on our accommodation.
So why choose Newcastle University and the accommodation? With regards to Newcastle as a city, we are one of the top cities in the whole of the country for safety for students, which I think is a really good and positive um, thing about Newcastle itself. In regards to our accommodation, we are very competitively priced and as I said, currently the undergraduate accommodation is all on or very close to campus with no more than a 15 minute walk away. And then your student experience, all the accommodation that we offer is just for first year undergraduate Newcastle students. We obviously, we do offer accommodation for postgraduates, um, but that's not what today is about. We have also couple accommodation and family accommodation, but this cannot be guaranteed due to the availability and the numbers of this type of accommodation we have. Throughout your whole time within the university, there's support and advice both through the accommodation service. We have a drop-in that you can come and speak to us about whatever you want. We have a team on site called Res Life that are there both to help um, with the social side of university life within the accommodation, but also you know they have um, helping people settle into the accommodation, being able to make friends. They're there and they're a very good and supportive service. In the wider field, we have the student services building, which is Kingsgate, where you can go and see people that are from the international office, also all the way through to the wellbeing team who support people with a multitude of needs. In all of the accommodation we offer, there's the free internet connection. And I think that they have upgraded quite a few of it to um, help and accommodate all of you that are really into your gaming. In regards to the television license that's been mentioned through the slides, if you are to watch TV, even on your laptop, even if it's a repeated program, you have to buy a TV license. The TV license within the accommodation only covers the communal areas. So the thing when you've got, you're coming to Newcastle, and you've been offered your accommodation. There's lots of um, social media platforms and you'll probably meet all your flatmates and course students before you arrive. The accommodation contracts, as it says here, are continuous through Christmas and Easter. Um, you don't have to stay over those times, but basically you can leave your belongings in your own locked room. All of the accommodation is from a room with wash basin to the studio, it's your room with your key and nobody else has access to this. All of the accommodation that we offer meets the UUK code and the ANUC. UUK code is for university owned and the ANUC code is for the partners. So it's a high quality and um, accommodation that we do offer. So the guarantee covers students that are enrolling for the university for the full academic year, that they're a single student, and that we are your firm choice university. Then you'll get, we, if you're applying to us as an insurance choice, please also make your application for accommodation. Um, to make the application, you need to just go online you get told when the online portal is opening to make the application. It's not on a time received basis, so don't stress too hard about that. But the one thing you mustn't do is keep your school email, because all the correspondence that we send to you is via email. And as much as you've been used to your school email, you will lose it. Once you leave school, you'll lose the email. So the thing is now, and when you're looking to make your application, as I've said previously, you need to make your decisions on what's for you. Do you want to be in a smaller community? Do you want to be in a larger community? Do you want to share in a mixed gender flat? So for example, if you're in a six person flat, it's normally a 50-50 split, three boys, three girls. If it's in the likes of Maris House, if you've got your own hand wash basin in your room, and then there's two bathrooms. So in Maris and Windsor, that's exactly the same. So there's a one to three ratio on the bathroom. All the other sites, 
except for Casa Lisa's. If you're in the en suite, and also Casa Lisa's en suite, you have your own bathroom and communal sharing areas. But then in regards to the wash basin rooms in Casa Lisa's, this is our oldest accommodation. It is still very popular. It offers both catered and self-catered. But the floors, if you're a wash basin room, are single gender, purely for your bathroom, but your blocks are mixed. So it's not, you just won't just be with one gender. Another thing that we offer, but we can't guarantee, is we offer alcohol quiet flats. Alcohol free, sorry, I should say, not just you drinking there all the time. Um, and it's, again, it can't be guaranteed because of the number that we have, but we do try, if people have applied for that, we do try to look to see if we can accommodate them in one of our alcohol free flats. So you've made you, you've thought about, you've looked at your student loan, you've thought about your affordability, you've thought, do I want a smaller site? Do I want to share with boys and girls? Do I want to be catered or self-catered? So you've made your application and you've registered with your personal login details online. And as I say, there's, it's not first come, first serve. So you can apply and then by the deadline. Currently, this year was the 31st of July, but this may change for next year. But it's all on our website. Everything is there. You just need to go under the into the accommodation website under new students and it gives you all the information on how to apply, frequently asked questions, costs, etc., etc. So you don't have to hold all this in your head. Um, so you've looked at the costs, you've looked at your choices, and you get to make three choices. And then you've made your application, and you think, oh, I've either come into money, or I've not made. I've made choices of the most expensive, and I can't really afford them with the loan that I'm going to get. So you can go back in, and you can change these. And it's still it's available to go in and change things right up until the closing date. So if it is the 31st of July, after the 31st of July, it's fixed and you can't make changes. So then you've made your choices, you've made your application, you've submitted it, you've got your email that tells you this, and then you've got it by the deadline. And then the next thing that comes is, so you've had your offer to study and now you've got your results and you've got your unconditional offer that you need to firmly accept. And once you've got an unconditional offer firm, which we refer to as UF, that's when we start to make you your offer of accommodation. Now, we only make you one offer. We try our very best to be able to fit with what you've chosen, but it's supply and demand. We can't always do this, um, but we try and match it to what you've asked for. And as I say, we do do our very best and all the accommodation that we offer, it still has the great student experience. But you think, it's just not for me, I don't want it. You've got the option to reject the offer. If you do this, we will not make you another offer. We only make the one offer. If you're mm, a bit tentative um, and you accept the offer and you think, oh, no, I want to be somewhere else, we have a Facebook swap page. Today, I've got two girls that are swapping, one from a catered wash base into an ensuite, vice versa, and we keep that open. Before you've arrived, you can swap. After you've arrived, you can swap. And then in November, we open a room transfer. We can't guarantee it, but we do our very best to make sure that your experience and time in our accommodation is a good one. So you've accepted the offer, and then the next thing is its arrival. You arrive into the university accommodation. Last weekend was an arrival weekend. And then you start on your freshest week and your adventure and your further studies at Newcastle University. So that's the end of my talk for today. This is where you can find us. We're on level two in the Kingsgate building, uh, Monday to Friday. There's some information there where you can contact us by telephone or on our web forms. Um, we also have now a drop-in, so people can just come, no appointment necessary to talk to us uh, about what they, if they've got a problem in their flat or if they're leaving their accommodation and all this, to be able to get advice from ourselves. So thank you, everybody. Thank you very much for your time. If you have any questions, I'm happy to help. Welcome. Welcome.
Hi. Hi. Um, this is just one question coming in from online. Yep. Um, it is, should accommodation be paid together with tuition? Uh, can we pay monthly for the accommodation? Right. In regards to the accommodation that we offer, the payment terms and conditions are on the website. And currently, as I said, if it's a partnership, there might be an advance payment. And then it's normally done in three payments. So it's termly. So the 1st of November, the 2nd of February, and the 7th of March this current year. But if you're, the way that you're getting your funds, the way that you're getting your money, if it's more convenient for you to pay monthly, you just need to come to one of our drop-in sessions and we can make you what's called a payment plan. But it won't be by direct debit. It will be you'll have to pay online by card. Amazing, that's good. Um, I have one more coming in from online, if that's okay. Yeah, yeah. So are there any ways to choose your flatmates or switch later on if you don't get along with them? This is what I've said, yes. So as I said a little bit earlier, we, have the fa we, have, we currently have the Facebook swaps open. Obviously, we ask you to come in and see us if you're having problems. And then uh, we leave it until the 1st of November to open our room transfers. The reason is is because it takes some time to settle in. You know, it's brand new to everybody, and you're living with each other. But if it's a, if it's a, a very difficult problem, we, we would look to see if we have the facility to do an immediate move. But in the first instance, we'd recommend looking for a swap on the Facebook page. And as I say, we are sw we've swapped quite a lot of people already. Thank you.